Hi, and welcome to another episode of Playful Strategy Weekly. I'm Villain Vanderhorst, brand and marketing strategist, specialized in everything to do with play. And as you might know by now, in these videos, we're looking over different aspects of play and of the books I am reading. And at the moment, to begin with, we are looking at the different aspects of the definition of play as an activity in the book Man, Play and Games from French sociologist Roger Caillois. And in the previous five videos, we went over the fact that uh, play is an activity that is free, separate, uncertain, unproductive, governed by rules. And the sixth aspect is that it is make-believe. Make-believe, as defined in the book, is accompanied by a special awareness of a second reality of a free unreality as against real life. So juxtaposing something that is make-believe and that you know is different from the rest of life. Frankly, I could have used a lot of the other examples that I used, and every time, as you know, I illustrate with two different brand examples, the different aspects of what brands have done with their communications or interesting business videos, and every time I link to different videos on YouTube so that you can go and have a look at them. And uh, if you watched the last episode, the Carlsberg uh, example was clearly something that was not only governed by new rules, but was also make-believe, so I could have used that kind of example. Uh, but I'm going to go with a different example and something that is... Well, I mean, basically, it's one of my favorite brands. I love all, almost all of the history of the advertising and, you know, one of my sweet tooth products that I would go to, which is Skittles. Uh, Skittles has a longstanding history of making quite offbeat, strange ads that have a strong make-believe element to them. Uh, and I'll exemplify that, illustrate that, I'll exemplify. Uh, I guess it is a word in some cases. I'll, I'll take one of the most famous of their ads. Or this is at least 10 years old, if not more. I think it's more like 13, 13 years old or something like that. Uh, and that is the Skittles Touch or Midas Touch, in which I, I'll link above, in which one of the aspects is the protagonist of the ad is cursed with the fact that everything they touch turns into Skittles and they talk about how horrible their fate is and that they can't live like that and how tough the how tough it is for them really and it's uh it's just weird i love it i love a lot of their ads they're quirky they're a little bit strange the whole string they reinvented that gimmick many many times over the course of the years uh making the strange world of skittles and everything that happens when you touch the rainbow taste the rainbow all to do with playing around with the rainbow aspect of skittles and all their different colors and the make-believe universes that go along with it. Um, so that's just something that I really love. And they've consistently created make-believe universes one after the other, adapting, changing, and evolving. Always that offbeat, slightly unreal, different world. And then the other aspect, and this is an easy one uh, I'm going to go with, and it's there's a make-believe aspect to almost every single perfume fragrance ad. And almost all of the luxury ads in general follow this idea that um, the vast majority of the time there's going to be a celebrity that is in a make-believe world, uh, generally somebody it's that is empowered. And that is quite contrasting from the examples of Skittle where you have a character that has cursed or is dealing with the impact of their relationship with the product and the brand. Whereas here, we're going to go with Kenzo World from a couple of years ago. An ad that made a lot of noise. It was very famous, directed by a famous film director, Spike Jones, and um, very long, you know, almost a short film music video of an ad. Uh, and, and I thought, I, I don't know if it's true because I haven't really gone into a whole case study, but watching and thinking about a few different fragrance ads that I was hesitating to pick, the contrast with the other ad, this is a kind of make believe universe where the protagonist is completely empowered. And that goes along with making sure that one, it's make-believe because it's very, it's a luxury universe that is separate from the common world of like everybody and everyone, uh, which is in difference, like it shows a, quite a difference from the Skittle ads, which is supposed to be everyday reality, but that somehow something is completely changed and unreal about that. This is unreal altogether, but it does also feature a character that really does exactly what they want. I mean, this woman's just dancing like there's no tomorrow, like there's nobody watching. And the more it goes, the more it goes, and the more unreal it becomes, and the more separate from the rest of reality it is. At first, it seems to be quite close to reality, in, even if it's like high-end, high-status kind of uh, reality. 
and uh, by the end of it you don't really know what's real or not um and but it's just you know at the same time beautifully put together beautifully uh performed as well and uh so yeah so that's like the two examples for uh make believe and i will see you next week for another ad where you have a lot more to cover within this book so we're going to talk about more aspects of play in the next episode i'll see you around and don't forget you can subscribe and like and all that good stuff all right thanks bye